You have to remember that time is a gift, not something you're entitled to. And no matter how hard you try, you can't control it. There's no making it go backwards or stopping it. The only thing you can do is choose how to spend the time you're given. You don't know how many more days or years you have, so make sure you're celebrating every moment you get. Hello and welcome back to my new video. This is my birthday special. So today I'm going to talk about 25 things I've learned in 25 years. So I did some other, I think it was my 21st, my 20 third and my 24th birthday no 20 21st 22nd i didn't do one on the 23rd which is bad but i'm gonna keep doing this now and last year i did one as well so this year i'm gonna tell you 25 things i've learned in 25 years let's go so number one is living in the present moment will make your life better number two is no matter how hard life gets life is still beautiful and it's okay not to be okay it's okay to say no without explaining i am still learning i always explain myself um i always want people but that's a good thing i always want people to feel good and i'm always kind but it's okay to say no without explaining yourself without an explanation no is a reason enough or no is a reason so yeah number five happiness comes from within you don't need anyone I mean you need you need people to be happy but it starts with you if you're not happy with your life if you're not happy with yourself you won't be happy in a relationship you won't be happy in a friendship so make sure that you reflect what you need and work on what makes you feel better what makes you happy before you enter a relationship so happiness comes from within you choose to be happy sometimes it's best to cut people off in my story um, a few weeks ago you can check my instagram highlights i talked about um energy and there are two types of people there are people that bring energy to your life, that lift you up, that inspire you, people that make you laugh and then there are people that drain your energy, that take away your energy and I've learned that it's okay to distance yourself from people that drain your energy, that drain you, that, that um, people who pull you down and I think yeah, I know in high school we want to be friends with everyone. We want to have as many friends as possible, but it's quantity, not, uh, but it's quality, not quantity. I nearly mixed it up, but it's quality, not quantity. Number seven, communication is one of the most important things in a relationship, in a friendship, everywhere. If you don't speak up for yourself, if you don't talk about your feelings or what's bothering you in a relationship, in a friendship, that's not good. So communication is key. Complaining doesn't bring you any further. Kind of the same with the energy, like people that are draining your energy are mostly people that complain a lot. And I always say, complaining doesn't bring you any further. If you're complaining about something, you can change, then change it. If you complain about something you can't change then stop complaining about it because you cannot change it but most of the times you can change things you're complaining about if you work hard for it you'll get there and you can achieve your goal protect your energy to live a healthy life number 11 talking to someone professional is not weak is not bad it is important if you are struggling with your thoughts, with your mental health, it is okay to talk to someone professional. Honestly, I can say from my experience, it's the best thing I've ever done. And I can 
recommend it a lot. There are hotlines you can call, there are professionals you can like book a meeting with and talk about what's going on inside you or inside you, wherever. <laughs> um, let's turn the page. Um, number 12, showing emotions is not a sign of weakness. Showing emotion, emotions is a sign of how strong you are like what's going on inside you getting it out there is so important and it's definitely not weak no matter where you are in the world you are never alone you will always or you can always reach out to people i've been traveling through new zealand for the first two months by myself stayed in hostels and i was dealing with a lot um struggling and I had the greatest conversations with people I've literally just met a day um, and it helped me so much. So you are not alone. Number 14, home doesn't have to be your hometown or your home country. That's what I learned. And in 25 years, I've also learned that writing is thera therapod, I don't know the English word, therapeutic. <laughs> I will just write it down here. So writing things down helps so much. Getting it from here down to paper is definitely something I've learned is really, really good for yourself, for you, for your feelings, for everything. Number 17, is it 17? Yeah, we don't have to be available 24 seven. I think in a time where we all have smartphones, I'm literally recording right now with my smartphone um, and being connected literally having internet everywhere like internet in our pockets where we have our smartphones um, we often think we have to be connected 24 7 or available but I'm a person when I'm with my people I don't use my phone that much and it could be that I read a message and I don't answer straight away just because I don't want to be on my phone when I'm when I'm with, when I have my quality time. So we don't have to be available 24 seven and we shouldn't, we shouldn't um, get annoyed when someone doesn't text back straight away. I know that's hard sometimes, but it is what it is. Number 18, something I've learned during the last one and a half years is that grief comes in waves. And I've learned that making yourself vulnerable, I'm struggling with this word, vulnerable, 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 oh god, you know when you say word too much, you just can't say it, so I'm just gonna write it down here, but I've learned that it shows the real you and your authentic self, so there's nothing wrong with being vulnerable, vulnerable, whatever. Number 20, being kind can change someone else's day. So being kind to someone can light up the whole day of someone else. So always be kind. Number 21, I am responsible for my life. I have to fight for my dreams or go after my dreams. No one else will do it. So that's something I've learned. I am responsible. Um, I am responsible how I see things, how I move on how my life turns out I'm responsible and you are responsible for your life so make sure you do what you want and follow your dream number 22 no rain no flowers number 23 hard work pays off definitely I'm not sure I think no nah, not in two weeks I'm just recording this video now and my birthday is in two weeks um, but soon I will publish my first book and I put a lot of hard work in it and hard work pays off and I can't wait to share it with you. Number 24, taking time for yourself is not selfish and is very, very, very important to make sure what's going on in your head and just to recharge and just to reconnect with yourself. And number 25, there's still more I've learned in 25 years, 
But one thing I've really learned is that nothing is impossible or more likely. It literally is connected to hard work pays off. There are always, there's always beauty left even through tough times um, or when you go through a tough time life can still be beautiful and you can still go and follow your dream you can still do the things you think are impossible but hello and welcome back to my new video this is my birthday special so today i'm gonna talk about 25 work on yourself work on yourself for yourself for your dream hello and welcome back to my new video this is my birthday special so today i'm gonna talk about 25 things i've learned in 25 years or what, you, what you've learned if you've learned the same things maybe you've learned something new through my video i don't know but anyway, I hope you all have a good day. Stay kind, stay safe and stay healthy. See ya.